as per promise, I have you here now on the channel. Uh, hi everybody, we're uh, featuring Contra today because he topped with Medulce and he bugged me for a deck profile. Uh, Banana's here as well because uh, apparently they had like one final, uh, they, they saw each other in the final match for whoever was going to top, so uh, he's here to say funny things as well, mainly complain about it. I mean, I'm not really complaining. I never thought Dream Ears would get that far. Oh yeah, he played Dream Ears, by the way, and uh, almost oh, topped. 60 card branded Dream Ears. Pretty yeah. crazy. It was, it was, you know, it was surprising, but um, anyway, this is some adult training profile, so. So yeah, uh, yeah, just go right on ahead, and uh, you got the floor. I mean, I never expected I'd be the only one to top with this deck. I was really just playing this not to play Ignistra or DDD. Uh, just to get started, three Medulci Magellan, three Medulci wait, Angeli. Wait, 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 Why are you saying that? Everyone can literally fucking see it. But he's going through it. I mean, I'm going through the starters. So, and three Petting Sessor. These three are really powerful in that they get your, your rank four action started. And if you don't see it, really can't play. You just have to depend on your other cards like Orange Lights or like the One Shifter or if I have Small World I can Search Shifter. But that's, this deck really hates itself because well, Petting Sessor can be a starter if you use Hand Traps, like if you're going second. Petting Sessor is no longer a starter, but Hoot Cake becomes the starter. Or it also turns off Magellan because Magellan would usually get Petting Sessor. So this deck really has a lot of contradictions. And the release of Small World really helped this deck to be good again. Because say like I have a Hoot Cake and I have nothing in my graveyard and I'm going first, I can make I can use Hoot Cake and a Small World Bridge and I get Petting Sessor. So Small World is really helpful and it, it looks weird that I'm only ha I only have two Small World in this deck. It's only because I ha I only have two. So Hoot Cake is I was thinking of bumping Hoot Cake to three. However. If I don't like drawing it, drawing too many of them, so I, th I just left it at two. Two Messen Gelato, I, same thing, I don't want to draw this card, but I love summoning it multiple times in a turn and getting so many searches off of this card. I can get Salon, I can get Ticket, and I can get Chateau. I can even get Promenade off this, like if I don't need to set up any more. I'd probably just get Promenade. I can even get Knights if I side in Knights. So with all the hand traps, you, you see one shifter and you're, you're wondering what, what the hell am I doing? Why am I not playing three of this overly broken card? It's because Medulce cannot use this card going second most of the time. It's because they turn off Petting Sessor and Magilly, and I, I don't want to be down six starters in exchange for just Angeli and Hootcake, and then possibly Smallworld. So I thought, if I see Smallworld, I can go into Shifter, L because I um, Magellan's a spellcaster. So I can bridge into Shifter. Uh, three Orange Lights. Because I'm playing nine or ten Fairies, I thought it'd be good because if Petting Sessor gets stopped, I kind of just don't play the game if I don't have enough gas. So Orange Light was nice, especially in that last game. One Ash and one Imperm for Crossout. Three Nibs. It's because it's a hand trap that doesn't turn off my starters. So I, I liked it at three. It was also very helpful to because I saw it a lot. The Panker Tops is my small world bridge. It's a Earth, it's not level four, and it doesn't share any other stats, and it's perfect. And going second, it actually helped break a uh, base end board because I could just turn off, I can like uh, bait the Baron Negate, and it also makes Hoot Cake live if I have it. So I ended up winning that win winning that game. I didn't win the match, but I was just playing badly that time. Spells. So two Salon. So people like one Salon or three Salon, depending on if they w want to see that card. It's really powerful if you see it. Say like you have Magellan, it gets Ash. You just Salon for like an Angeli. Or say you have a monster in your grave. If you bait out the uh, bait out an Ash or a Veiler with that with Magellan, you could just normal summon Hoot Kick and play the game. So that's why people like it at three, but. I have experience on Dueling Book, like drawing two of this card, and it really hurts. So I thought to stand in the middle and play two. One ticket. Ticket lets you OTK. One Chateau. 
Some people like two chateau because some people go through that, go through one and then it get say it gets cosmic. I just didn't think that was very likely. I don't think they'd slide cosmics for this deck. What are you gonna hit a promenade? So probably so I kept Chateau at one. Chateau basically lets Shuckle up become special two monsters from deck. Three extravagance. Extravagance, I, I don't have prosperities. And in my last game against the Dream Bears, I got I got sacked. I lost all Glass Souffles and all Sistarts both games, which really sucked. And I drew into an extravagance one of them. I actually drew into extravagance more often than I would have liked. So if you can if you have prosperities, you should probably play the prosperities. But uh, uh, extravagance was here that won me a game because it drew me into evenly imperm one time, which is funny. Small World. Small World is so, so good. It lets you access any of your starters. It lets you get Shifter. It lets you get Orange Light if you already have an Orange Light, like, if you have fairies in your hand at the end of the turn. It's so, so powerful. And which is weird that it's, I, it's here at two. I could have borrowed one from someone, I guess. But play If you're playing Medulce, you need to play three of this card. It is essential. Cross out. I don't like hand traps. The same for called by. Uh, two promenade. I saw I burned through two promenade a game because like it, this deck really grinds, and if I'm not able to shuffle them back in with TR and Misu, I liked having the second one to sit off Salon, so it lets me keep playing. One imprint for cross out. One grave digger's travel. This never came up at all. So there's a combo where you could if you have Magellan and Salon. You can normal summon Magellan, get another Magellan, Salon extra normal summon that Magellan, gets you petting, and then you make Trap Tricks with Felicia, which turns off, which can effectively turn off Nibiru. However, I have drawn this card, and it has never come up, so I am considering cutting it for other stuff. Uh, extra deck, I guess. So three glass, three TR. I'm playing three of all the all the Medulches because of extravagance. So glass. Glass is my turn one setup. If I uh, so it was, it really sucked that I lo lost it uh, to extravagance that one game because it basically meant I didn't do anything. But what it does is it can make any Medulce unaffected by monster effects by detaching material. And if a Medulce card is sent to my graveyard, I can shuffle up to two cards from the graveyards of the deck. It's basically like a transmigration prophecy, and it's really powerful for getting rid of the stuff in my graveyard. Say I have Chateau up and I have Shifter in my graveyard. I can get Shifter back to my hand and I can reuse it. Unfortunately, that has never come up in the, because I either never see the Shifter going first or I never small world into it. But it's it's really powerful when it counts. And I, I hope to see it if I play this deck again. Three TR Misu, this is basically a game winner because it non-target shuffles your opponent's monsters and also puts Medulce cards back into your deck. To, so say they get rid of Ticket, or say they get rid of the Chateau, you can just put it back in your deck and search it again when you summon Messenger Auto. So it's really powerful, and it gets rid of like problem monsters like Dragoon, or like anything that just has a lot of protection buffs on it. Three Chocolat, this is, this is an OTK machine, it can Get monsters out of your deck. Basically, every time a monster, a Medulce is shuffled into the deck, if it has Pudding Cessus material. Now, this is important. It has to have Pudding Cessus material, which is why Promenade has another effect, which I can banish it from my graveyard to attach any Medulce from deck to it. So, say I don't have access to Pudding Cessus because I didn't summon off a petting. I can banish Promenade and then attach it to Chocola, which is really good. And then three is the start. This is another piece for my end board. It prevents my salon, it take in Chateau from being destroyed. And it also has its own dis destruction protection, which can trigger uh, glass, which is pretty neat. Or it can trigger a, uh, it can trigger Chocolat in some instances. And then my, so I've already, I've already talked about Reflesia. Zeus was really good. So in the scenario where um, I have a way to make rank fours without petting, I can just go into Zeus after attacking and then clear the board. Like, because I can make a four material Zeus with Shokola, because Shokola can rank up from any of the other Medulches. 
Uh, access code is just here. I can't. I, I never make it. I, it could be literally anything. I'd probably replace it with like Appaloosa, because I can just uh, if I go to uh, turn two and I cannot kill my opponent and I didn't use petting, I can just go into Appaloosa with extra material. So that's the extra deck. Side deck. It's it's just standard stuff besides Dimension Shifter. Like one cosmic seems weird. I just I don't really care about back row that much it's just i can wait i can if i see evenly cool gozen's really powerful and it's kept me alive for a lot of games if i didn't see a starter a lot of decks like to have different have a lot of attributes in their deck say like the brave engine they have the normal like their their token is earth wandering griffin rider is wind a lot of their hand traps that they use that they just normal summon out of the blue to trigger Fateful Adventure. There are a lot of different archetypes, uh, attributes. They're like light with effect jailer, fire for Ash Blossom. Gozen prevents them from, and they can't even summon any of the dragons either because they're all dark. So Gozen just shuts down that, that deck. Our same brand, it summons Lubellion. They can't make Mirror Jade. They can't make Wind Up. They can't make any of the very powerful fusions if Gozen is up. And then one Knights. I didn't really need to set this off of Salon or with Messengelato, but there were some games where I sighted it out and it would have been really cool to have it because I didn't kill my opponent. So when I was playing against base, it would have been really nice, but uh, uh, that's something that they just live and learn. So there are, there are four cards I want to talk about that could be in the deck. So Effect Veiler, it's a better small world bridge because it can get to Magellan and then to Shifter. Or the other way around. Also, I forgot to put uh, Effect Veiler in because I, I, I had a brain fart at that moment. And it, it cost me the game because someone Veilered Magellan and I lost the game. Gamma, Gamma once again is a, a good cross out target. It didn't come up, but it's a good cross out target. It also is a good small world bridge because it's level two. Kumungus, or Kumogus, however you say it. Uh, it's I can easily access it because it's Earth and it doesn't share a stat line with anything. So I can, it's it's a searchable kaiju. I could just put it in my deck at one. And then I I, I, I guess I talked about prosperity. But if you if you have prosperities, you should play it in this deck. It's really good. It, it you basically can find a starter off of it or small world. You can even potentially find shifter if once you side it in. It, it's really good. It's probably better than extravagance in the deck. Yeah, that's. All I really have to say about this. Uh, you mentioned the other four that you would put in. What would you? Uh, I mean, obviously you'd cut extravagance for prosperity, but uh, stuff like Valor, Gamma. What would you cut for uh, for those in the deck? So I'd probably cut Orange Light for Gammas, and, and then I would play Driver as a forty-first card. I found that people like to negate Petting Sessors and Effect for some reason. I'm not sure why. And if that's the case, I could just play Gammas instead of Herald. And it also prevents me from working on Herald, since it doesn't really work if I don't have another fairy in hand. I wouldn't be playing three Kai, uh, three Nibiru. I'd probably cut one for a Kaiju and one for a Veiler. I was just playing a Kiss for Space. All right, and any other last words to say, or that about wraps it up? Do you have any uh, comments on my horrible deck building uh, bananas? Um, deck build? Honestly, don't know Medulce that well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're fine. I mean, I don't. I, think I know Sherwood's gonna to gonna comment on it and say how absolutely terrible this is. I mean, yeah, sure. And that's about all we got for you for this. Uh, commenters have at it, and that's gonna about wrap it up. Have a good rest of the day, everybody. Just saying, Dream Mirror's deck profile would have been a lot funnier. <laughs> yeah, commenters, uh, like the like the video so you can get uh, Dream Mirror deck profile. Ah, uh, yes. One Baiting for like goals, you are content oh, creators oh, now. Oh, 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 oh. If we, like, that's not actually one of us liking the video. We'll do it, I'm sure. Of course. It's so bad. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>